Hey, what's up? It's Dave Farah from the Dave Mahoney and DK Morning Show on X1075 in Las Vegas. And guess what? You're listening to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. All right. Welcome back to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. The phones are lighting up after I just went on a 35-minute rant about pathetic, dirty cops and their annoying tactics at DUI checkpoints. All right. We seem to have a caller on the line. Martha, welcome to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. Thank you. <laughs> so what is your take on everything I said last hour? Uh, well, you said a lot of good things, you know, but you also, both of you actually asked some good questions. Um, videotaping police officers yeah. is uh, is our, our actual legal right. Yeah. So the, the smart thing the guy did, first of all, is announce that he was videotaping, mm-hmm. which, was smart on his end, which was smart on his end. But I think he did have some angle, you know, just to, you know, probably make sure he didn't get... You know, nothing was elevated or, you know, to make sure the guy was the police officer is on good behavior. I thought that, you know, that was smart on his part. But I think him coming off as, obviously, he knew his rights, okay? Yeah. Um, but obviously, sort of playing that card is not good. And he, you're right. He should have known it's going to be required, your insurance and your driver's license. That's right. like a no-brainer. Now, if he refused... And this was a thing that he didn't do, which is a good thing. If he refused to get his driver's license, by all means, that cop could have arrested him on the spot. So, um, you know, he he did a good thing, obviously, by getting his driver's license. But no. the bad thing, but the bad thing at the end is that he's like, "I'm going to plead the fifth. Okay, that is his right. Yeah, <laughs> he can plead. The, he can plead the the Fifth Amendment. That's great. But it's going to take longer for him to get out of that stupid DUI checkpoint." Now, if the police officers stopped him um, based on, a, like, a motor violation, yeah, um, he could have arrested his ass right there on the spot. So, I'm sorry if I'm swearing. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, that's fine. That's real. Don't worry. You know, but this, the, you know, there was, like, he was just, he just elevated, you know, and just sort of enticed the police officer. Right. It could have been, it could have went so much smoother. I had not a similar situation happen to me, but it was in Evanston, and, you know, I knew I was in the right. I had a witness in the car who was my sister. Yeah. And all, all of a sudden, the police officer stopped me, and I already had, you know, my driver's license and my um, insurance ready for him. Good, yeah. Um, he, you know, but, you know, all in all, this, this kid probably, you know, has everything in life, and all he wants to do is smear his knowledge, up in, you know, in a police officer's face, honestly. And, you know, there are some good cops out there. And there are a lot of bad cops out there. And I think, you know, this bad cop, he just, he, he lost it. He totally lost it. And now, I want to get your take on this. Do you think that he should have filmed the thing and not told the cop that? Because I think you could have got some more out of the cop. Or is that not legal? Do you have to tell them you're recording no, it? No, you don't. You don't have to. Then he was an I idiot heard. for doing that. He could have got so much more, Martha, if he didn't let the cop know that he was filming it. Do you agree? Right. He, he did. But and then, and then he, he just he reiterates it again. He says, "You're on film. You're on film. Or you know, you're being recorded." <laughs> like, okay, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it's stupid though. Even if it's being reiterated, the police officer, you know, should have just really calmed down and just did his job in and out. You get headaches from all civilians, and he's just another one added to the count. Here's my thing. Wait, super. Do you have a point? No. Here's my thing. Go ahead. I think this could have been the best video ever if you if you had like a smart person doing this because this guy, when you look at him in the video, he's just a creep. Like me and Super Rich were showing the first three and a half minutes of the video because it's seven minutes. It's just him driving and he looks like a creep. If you would have had someone who was in the right mind doing this, you could have got this cop on so much. But this is just a punk who was trying to make a viral video, and he failed because, like, he had no good points, and he goes from being calm and collective, and then he's screaming, and then he's saying, well, I need my lawyer. It's like, well, which end is it, dude? And then my thing with the cop, it's like, dude, you have to be better than that. You're a cop. You're this thing that we're supposed to look up to, cops, and then you're getting mad over some punk from DeKalb. Like, it's just the whole thing. They're both morons. Like, what do you think? No, I think, you know, they just, they both had a chip on their shoulders. They, they both have big eagles, and this is what you get. You know, it could have gone even worse. You know, the guy was just, you know, could have, you know, slapped him to the ground and handcuffed him. Yeah. And brought, it, brought in some sorry case if they ever take it to court saying, you know, he was um, disorderly conduct or refusing, you know, to cooperate. Any of those would have flown on the cop's side automatically. 
And now, before I let you go, I just want to bring up this point and get your, and just get your take on it. I respect cops. I mean, they put their life on the line. Even if it's in the suburbs, you never know if it's some whack job that has a gun. And the cops that are in the ghetto right now, in the bad part of Chicago, as the rappers say, Chirac, they are putting their life on the line every second. But there's a different precedent with the cops in the suburbs, and the media doesn't want to report it because you come off like that, you hate the cops. But the cops in the suburbs aren't in good shape. These aren't the top-notch cops. The top-notch cops are the ones right now dealing with the madness in Chicago. So they have to find something to do to get their quotas in, so they just have them at these checkpoints. And the media calls it a DUI checkpoint, but when you go by, it says safety checkpoint, and basically they're just trying to find a reason to give you a ticket, so that's what annoys me, and it's like no one calls them out. I'm the one person that calls them out, and I'm not really in the media right now. It's just like, it feels good to have someone on the phone who, who like, thinks the same way as me, because it's like, cops need to be called out. There are a ton of great cops out there. I love cop shows. But there's just this new thing where cops, it's just like a power trip for them, Martha. They think they can just do whatever, and sadly, they can almost do whatever. That guy slammed his car. He could have possibly hurt the car. Whatever. He's a cop. He can do what he wants. I was driving around with black friends. He said some bad things. He can do whatever. You know what I mean? It's just like cops just think they're above the law, and I know they are, but it's just they take advantage of things way too much. Yeah, no, I, I hear your point. I think the sub, the only thing with the suburban cops compared to like yeah, you know, some of those hardcore Chicago areas is they, they don't get the uh, field experience. Oh no, Number not one. at all. They, they don't get the field experience. I think that's you know that's a gap right there. Yeah. But I think also I think with Chicago cops that you know get the run of the mill, they get they see the action. Mm-hmm. I think they, uh, I think just in terms of their personality, you know, I think you know they're always in flight for fight, you know mode anyway so they're you know they don't want to hear you know lies you know from civilians and you know they want to get yeah. straight to the point you know so in in some circumstances yeah they have a low tolerance maybe but um there, there are a lot of good cops out there i know a lot of good cops oh yeah I, I know a lot of shady cops you know that just they throw your weight you know they throw your weight and they think that you can, they can hit you and get away with it you know? oh yeah it's I, getting I, bad I, out there yeah, I mean, for your situation, when you're in the car with your friends, I think that, you know, if you sort of rationally test them, I think, you know, they can sort of be brought down a bit, you know, brought down to reality. If you, you know, even if you said, you know, that's a racist comment, I think they would have maybe stopped and thought like, yeah, that is a racist comment. Yeah, it's just, I wish I had that film, because that could have been the greatest video ever, because my friend was wearing a green shirt, and my other black friend was wearing a red shirt, so I said to the cop, I'm like, don't you mean the kids in the red and the green shirts? So I called them out. So before we let you go, is there a song you want to hear us play on the air? Oh, man, you go back to the 80s. Yeah, uh, which one do you want to hear? Um, let's do, uh, let's see. Um, let's do um, If You Were Here by Thompson Twins, theme song to uh, Sixteen Candles. All right, I got that for you. Thank you for coming on the Hoppy and Super Show and listening. I appreciate it, Martha. Yeah, you guys are awesome. All right, Thank you so much. That means a lot. Bye. Wow, I mean, that was awesome, you know. To have a person who called. I mean, we had a drunk, like, whore call at one. Quite the person to talk to. And then you have a real call who brought great points. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself, so, yeah. All right, up next is If You Were Here by the Thompson Twins. Our phone line is blowing up with more calls, so we're going to play this song. Come back and take them. So, Super Rich, phone screen the calls for me right now. We will be right back on the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. BRB. The Hoppy and Super Rich Show. This is an official broadcast of Hoppy Radio. For more info, check out hoppyradio.com and hoppysworld.com.